All right, so we left off where Juan was telling us to go find the supplier because Juan's a lazy piece of shit. So I'm gonna go over here and find, I accidentally uh, walked over toward the area when I was playing last night. I was doing uh, side missions last night and just kind of running around, which by the way, I did make it to the very, very top of the VNC tower. Yes, it was hard. I died multiple times, but I didn't have to use my grappling hook, which I don't have one yet, but uh, there is a grappling hook in the game. I have not collected, but somehow I maneuvered my way around, used my paraglider. I used the wall run and the uh, holding the ledges and that actually worked out just fine for me. So uh, now we're on the way to go and find the missing supplier who is supplying the UV lamps for us, I believe. And, uh, which, by the way, I did not really find anything on top of the VNC tower. I know that tower is a mission later on in the game, so that's why I didn't really find anything up there. I think I did find one or two inhibitors at most. Uh, there really wasn't any anything up there besides, like, one or two inhibitors. I think there was probably one collectible up there, but wasn't really anything worth mentioning. I am going to stop here to regain my stamina. And, all right up again and so i'm thinking this mission here has the renegades around it because i walked near it on accident and the wand started radioing me and uh she told me that the renegades were in town so hopefully our supplier is not being ransacked by a bunch of renegades unnecessary jump there yeah so renegades here are protecting this area and i think they're holding our guy hostage maybe i'm not too sure yeah, he's inside there somewhere. I think we can parachute off this and then hit one in the head, maybe. Come down here and then come in full speed and hit him. There we go. So the, the RB part right there actually makes my guy super jump right after I do something like that. Deflect it, deflect it. Ah, oh, shit. If I, if I can time a bow and arrow shot, my guy will actually deflect the arrow back to him, which is really cool. I have yet to ever do that, so I'm still waiting for my first deflection to kick off. So the survivor is somewhere inside here. Hello? He's in here somewhere. Oh, shit. The yelling, the yelling kind of threw me off. I was not expecting. Oh, he's he's dead. Oh. Are you there? I thought he was like inside. Never mind. Found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say. They're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies. Both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. That sucks. Alright. Uh, follow the blood trail. That's great. So there are more inside here somewhere. We'll go ahead and kill this guy right here. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Where is? Oh my God! I stuck on that pole. They were totally berserk. It's crazy. I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They get mad. They're mad. They say they want to treat them. The butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. <laughs> I'm loving this sword, man. Those axe, whatever you want to call it. I stay on track here, Austin. Uh, I go up. I'm losing it right now. What? Oh, up there. I was so lost. I was like, excuse me? Uh, let's get this rope right here. 
I'm up that. Awesome. Oh, don't fall off, please. That's the exact same guy we just saw, didn't we? Hey. Poor guy. Hello? Over here, help us. I found him. It could be a trap, though. You'll know. Actually, this has to be real. How are y'all knife fight? Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, what? No! Why didn't that work? No, I kind of want to enjoy this here. I want to see who wins this fight, actually. Damn! Oh, hell no. I'm trying to do the, the vault kick on him. Oh, I'll finish the job there. Woo. Good job, gentlemen. All right, we're out. Oh, wait a minute. Where the fuck did he go? No the center sweep. They're hiding up here, apparently. Hey. Hey, you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. Help Sebastian. Ask about the lamps. I'll be nice. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only seven I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen, did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not that. Sebastian is an artist. Devlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille, to his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. Dude, I can't. I'm on track right now to find lanterns and climb that goddamn VNC tower, so I'm sorry. But at the same time, I kind of want to. I'm full story focused here. I'm, I'm sorry. Sure we'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hid them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. You know, Aiden's pick up everybody's slack in this game, dude. No one can ever, like, fulfill their orders in this game. Our boy Aiden does everything in this game, it seems like. Take all the dirty missions for everybody. No way, it's a renegade. I'm not renegade. What am I, a survivor? Uh, a pilgrim, that's what I am. I almost called myself a renegade. I am not one of you fools. Let's go up here. I walk this rope. Nice. All right. Let's head up top. Zombies. Nice. Let's get my combat skill points up, baby. Uh, let's go up here. This work here. All right, I'm gonna skip these guys and go to the very top. Hopefully, there's a door up there. Looks like there is. Go ahead and get to the very top. Uh, here. Thought I was gonna fall for a second. Don't fall down. Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah. See ya. All right. Where am I going? You suckers want some more too? I love the, uh, so they have a slashing one and they have a, uh, what's it called? Bolding? Bouldering? If slashing and blunt. So the slashing one is basically just all the sharp edge swords and knives. And the bouldering one is just these, um, Big, like, bulky items that don't have any sharpness to them. But I like both of them. 
They are a lot of fun to use, especially last night when I played this. So I've actually already been up here, but I have not done this mission yet. GRE detector. Uh, you guys hear that? Okay, bro. Is it inside here? There we go. That took me longer than it should have. I mean, any character in Dying Light just survives anything in this game. What's going on? This is actually kind of trippy right now. I'm fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Spawn's your type. What? I, what? The one, get lost. <laughs> oh, well, thank God it was lashed on with cables, huh? I kept hearing that big guy somewhere. I had no idea where he even was. To sound like he was like below us. Oh boy. <gasps> oh my God. I did not mean to do that. Oh, she hit those rocks at me, too. You know what, sucker? I'm gonna kick him, I'm gonna swing the shit out of him. And just like that, he's dead. This guy's gonna blow up here in a second. Please don't attract anybody. Oh, of course it did. Woo! Is there an inhibitor inside here? Please don't come find me. I'm not. Oh my god, what the hell? Dude, these gray guys are like volatiles, but in like runner form. I faced one of these guys last night when I was playing around, and they just are relentless. Insanely fast. During the hospital missions, they just come out of nowhere. Oh, and by the way, I did unlock the uh, PK's crossbow. I didn't tell you guys about that one yet, but I did unlock the PK crossbow. And I guess you can only get the crossbow from doing, um, or from setting the alignment for either the survivors or the PKs during the, um, like, uh, uh, water facilities, electrical station. You can only assign it to the PKs to get the, uh, crossbow, which I kind of find really weird. I don't know why I can't just use it, you know? Or I guess buy it from somewhere. But it's only accessible through working with the PKs, basically. And I also walked back to the bazaar back in Old Villador, and it's no longer uh, filled. There's no residents. There's no one there. The whole entire place was ransacked. And if I do remember correctly, the PKs did actually, um, they ransacked the whole entire place and fought the survivors because they thought oh, Lucas well. was uh, That's more like it. killed by a survivor. Hey, Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Merci, Eden. You did your job well. Unfortunately, Sebastian didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that. Poor boy. I so wanted to show him my father's shop. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad, but I mean, I have things I gotta Come do. On. We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades. Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. All right. Since Juan didn't want to do the lights himself, someone had to pay the price for it. I'm gonna go ahead and climb up here so I can fly all the way out there. But yeah, about the bazaar, there is nobody left in the bazaar at all. And I don't know, it's because the PKs, I think, killed them off. 
or killed some of them because there are still a little bit of survivors out there but they're outside of the bazaar meaning that they did get attacked so uh there is no longer a bazaar it's working at all and i guess if i because of my because of my quests that i clicked on and the stories that i picked and the questions i've done and i answered uh that's why there is no bazaar thriving anymore is because i basically screwed them over and uh, i haven't heard anything about sophie at all i know barney's dead because of my actions which i kept thinking barney was just really weird i mean he kind of deserved to die in a way although he didn't like really kill anybody but at the same time he kind of just had that weird that weird look on his face all the time i wouldn't say resting bitch face but kind of was but he always seemed kind of suspicious so that's why i chose to have him instead but i'm more i'm like i'm not really sure why he was let go from ador when he was uh in the in the pk's hands because after we got out of the tunnel he ended up capturing us and uh torturing us almost and so i was kind of confused at how the pks let him go if they if he even if he was the killer of, of uh, lucas why would they let him go that just makes no sense to me but it is what it is i guess I don't know if I can make this back in one one go around. I am gonna increase the lengths of the videos for Dying Light 2. So I want to say the game is about 13 or so hours long, maybe even more than that, maybe like 20 hours long, maybe. So if I just try and add more, maybe like two hours max to the episodes, then we might get somewhere faster with the with the uh, series here. I do want to add some more games to the channel here. I think we're going to play some Black Ops 3, hopefully, again. I do kind of miss playing Call of Duty. And definitely some Halo as well. I do miss Halo. The Halo multiplayer is actually really fun at the moment, so I might make some videos on that. But uh, game, games right now are kind of dry. Until Hogwarts Legacy comes out, 100% making a video on that, man. I cannot wait for Hogwarts Legacy. All right, hold on. Here I come, man. Doing everybody's dirty work out here. He's all the way down here, damn. Mission accomplished. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, a mouse turds buckshot. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway yeah. land. Ew. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations, pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Go to Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan barks a little, but I can handle him. How will we take the TV station without power? Let's go ahead and ask. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. 
Take care of these two for me, will you? I am not taking care of these people. Jesus. All right, we're out here. New story broadcast. I'm hoping this is the mission where we can actually unlock the, uh, the radio towers. Where am I going here? I can get so lost in this place. Let's go ahead and upgrade our skill point for our combat. Dude, we are so close to finishing the parkour skill points. We only have three more left. And then we have obviously was that three, six, seven more. Now, I don't know if the crossbow works for these guys or not. I don't think it does, but we're going to go ahead and just do uh, top to bottom here. So this one right here. Boom. All right. All right. So now we have to wait for Matt's summon, which is God knows when it's going to be at all. So I may do the side quest for Ador. I think he is inside the place. I actually have to go back in there. I'm gonna do a side quest for Ador since we're gonna wait for uh, Matt to get back to us. All right, so while we wait for Matt's signal, we're gonna go ahead and do the side quest for Ador, who was the guy who actually helped us in the tunnel to almost seize Waltz, but uh, we still failed. No, Stephen. No, we heard Grubble would decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage. And instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. I'm just gonna help him right away. I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Man. Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Talk to Margaret, the healer, which hopefully will give us the medicine we need to help Ador back at camp there. So if we lose Ador, it's kind of a big hit on us because he's the only witness to actually witness anything back in Old Villador. And so without him, we're kind of screwed without knowing any of the background information. Not screwed, but we'd like to know what happened back there. But he's kind of like our only hope right now. It's an emergency. Somebody there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. 
If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again. Honestly, just this ask her straight help. up. I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this. I assure you. Small ones heal, big I'm ones poison. I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. Find three of the recluse. All right. So I'm hoping that the picture actually renders the small and the big one. I do not want to choose the wrong one. But then you also got to think, though, is she telling us that it is a small one? Because she has messed up before in the past. So she could be playing with us saying the big one actually is the one we're looking for, not the small one. And please stop following me. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, we got heal too. We're out. Okay. So, which ones are small? I guess they're all the same. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab three of them. I want to know if there is a smaller one. Oh my god. I want to know if there's a smaller one out there or not. They all look the same here, though. Three. So hopefully when we go back to see Ador, it'll give us the option to do big or small. I'm gonna grab more that I see here, just in case. Five out of three. Let's get double. I wanna get double the amount just so that we're safe with it. I don't think there's any more around here though. We're gonna fly over the top here. Like a GI Joe coming in. Oh, sick. All right. Now, small petals are healing. Big petals are poison. But then again, is she lying about that since her past has also had some bad conclusions? All we gotta do is pray it works. Because if he dies, we are screwed. Not screwed, but we just don't know what ever happened in Old Villador. Because somehow he made it out of that tunnel alive. Where we all thought he was dead. Honestly, oh, that's his wife, I believe. Oh, his wife's right there. Never mind. Alright, sir, I'm ready to talk. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. Oh my God. I never met any witches. I got herbs from her. I don't want her to <laughs> shit. I want to be truthful, but I don't want to freak her out to where she's going to want to kill us if he does die. But if she does know us from her and it works, she gets the benefit of knowing, hey, she actually works. Never met any witches. Fuck it. A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. 
actually should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it. Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it. Oh my god. So she has killed PKs before. Oh my god. Uh give Ader the small I give Ader the small pedals. If she's trying to redeem herself, now is the time to do that. So hopefully she didn't fuck up this time. Give Air the small pedal. Small pedals heal. Oh my god, come on. If he dies, dude, I Oh my god, I'm gonna feel so horrible. <sighs> How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. Is he dead? He needs his rest. We should oh, all leave the beast. <laughs> I heard him stop. <laughs> I heard him stop breathing for a second. I thought he was dead. Wow. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. How long will it take for him to recover? Days, weeks. He's strong and otherwise in good health. So days is a likely scenario. As long as he's allowed to rest. I'm sure his family will want to be by his side. Oh my god. Now, can you imagine if Margaret effed up the whole situation and lied to us with the pedals? Because Parmy was wondering, like, what if she was lying about the small and the big and it was actually reversed? It would be a nice little twist. Because the wife did tell us right at the end that Margaret was known for killing PKs with, with her herbs. So it could have been a poisoning act. Very close to it. Aiden, we're about to meet up in the canteen. Join us. Roger. Yeah, I waited for like two days for Matt to get back to me. I meet with Jack and Juan at the fisheye. Which is right over here, actually. So during that time, I was waiting for Matt to summon me to uh, come help him out and talk about the plans. I actually got another parkour skill, which leaves us with two more remaining after this. So I'll go ahead and just do this guy right here. We have two more on this side, and then we have uh, four, six more on that side, which is very nice. So we pretty much already maxed out everything but the uh, inhibitors we have to use still. Let's get up here to the canteen. And I want to say this is like the big antenna mission for the radio towers. If I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. Right down here. Oops. Too high. Oh, oh my god, get down, please. Thank you. Right, let's go talk to Jack and Juan. If they're in here, the upstairs. Can I get a drink, sir? Whoa. It's my guardian angel. I don't want to talk, sorry. Right, I need to go. I gotta go. I'll talk later, Wait. okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> um sorry. I just wanna skip past this, sorry. Alright. Side Remember quest, okay. During the day it's filled with nasties. Sounds good, I'll take a look later. Thank you. Please wait. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow, the dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. 
will prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was going to send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Thank you. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass to wait on us. Poor guy. Next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off. Oh, imagine all the grieving tongues. Shut up. Can we just <laughs> get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies, secure the entrance. My men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander in chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? Hey, yes, sir. I got it. I'm not going to question it. The electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes. A great day to die. All right, consider it done. But we're not gonna die. We're freaking Aiden. I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Before the fall. You know, Meet me outside the canteen. Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I really don't. I have talked to this lady so many times, dude. I want to say last episode, she said goodbye to us. And we still talked to her right after that. It made no sense. I like Luan, but I don't want to talk to you anymore, man. You talk too much. Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. I've already done it. Ro Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. What? What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the night runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. Well, I'm standing right in front of you. I like climbed it last night. I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please. Don't do this. Aiden? Answer. Sorry, Luan, but Jack will dig up info on GRE employees if I do this for him. Ro, I'm on my way. You, my friend, are a suicidal moron. Luan. I mean, if you say so, sure. I've already climbed it once, I'll do it again. Be careful. Okay, no taken. All right, let's head over to the VNC tower. Yeah, I climbed it last night doing like unthinkable things, man. Like I need to have a grappling hook to get around this corner, but instead I used my parachute and I wall run it and then I, I like leaped out for the edge and I still got it somehow. Not really sure how I got it, but I got it. I'll get that inhibitor later. 
Copy that. Damn, they secured the entire place down here. Damn. Alright, bro. Electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. And they're setting up the lamps you got us to secure the surrounding areas. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's Roe. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it. Get out. Now. <laughs> Leon. Leon. Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. See, man, what a leader this guy is. Unlike some people in this game. Into the elevator. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. What did he give me? Bro, I've already got too many of those boosters on me. Climb this. Alright, uh... Can I climb all the way up like this? Oh, perfect. Look at me. Into the bathroom? Oh. I was gonna say, what? I'm gonna get my big ass sledge out here. Oh my god. Is there a volatile? Oh, there is a volatile. Oh my god, there's volatiles inside here. That is not good. Oh my god. I'm gonna bring out UV flashlight in case they see me. Which I think he does. I'm just gonna sprint around. Screw I'm I'm sprinting. Oh my god. <laughs> Screw you, fatty. He's dead. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh my god. If they all come here, I'm dead. Stay over there, please. Oh my god, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh my god, he's chasing. I think he's stuck behind that. I'm out. Screw it. I am not dealing with the volatile Bro, today. I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. Copy that. All right. I'm just going to start laying waste to these losers. I messed up big time. Holy shit. I have the ability to like swing my axe in circles, but I'm not sure what button that is. Oh my god, take him down. Oh my god. Out of here. That's all of them. I'm not trying to loot right now, I'm just gonna get out of here. Thanks for the grenades, buddy. I please appreciate that. Plumber's choice. New Leon? That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. 
This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris, he punched through and went that way. The black guy, I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Damn, dude. I want to know what's up here first. Let me go up here really quick. I do want to see what's going on up here. Although I'm pretty sure it's just a way to get back into this other place to open the door to. Yeah, exactly. The exact same place. All right, well, that was a waste of time. Sorry. That was a waste. Uh, let's go back here. In this door. I haven't seen that in a while, my lord. Oh my god, it's him, I think. I think that's, uh, Chris. Chris? Do I have to kill him? Oh, shit. I don't want to kill you, man. Oh my god. I had no choice, really. It's Chris, man. A dog tag from him, too. Let's go find that really quick. Chris Bluefield. Sorry, buddy. Bro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Just that was nothing but freaking pull there. Check all the fuses here. Oh my god. Turn on this fuse. That didn't work. So I think all this powers on separate things in the game. Get wrecked, loser. Oh my god. Shit. Like those goddamn COVID announcements. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Alright. Please don't bother me. Multiple of them. Ah. Alright, it's all back on now. Bro, I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. That guy okay though? This could better work. What about him? I was say hello. What? Bro, Leon's gone. Fuck. He definitely turned. You cannot tell me he did not. Yeah, he definitely turned, man. You cannot tell me he's not turned right now. 
Where am I going though? Left more grenades for me. All right, power A. I'm not sure where. All right, good. It's gotta tell me. Let's go ahead and just jump all the way down here. Nice. Like I hear him too. I hear Leon. Grab this. I do want to loot anything around me as well. If I could find anything here, which I can't. Uh, gotta get in. Oh, there we go. Button. I'm gonna close this just in case anything does follow me back here. I don't want to kill him. Nothing back there. You can definitely tell he turned because of the sound of the music in the game right now. Something sad's about to happen here. I guarantee it's him. Oh boy, here we go. You can definitely tell he's dead. Turn into a volatile. Door here is locked, I think. Yeah, shit. Please do not break cable. I don't think it's going to break, but all right, this is a place to breathe again. Let's go. I'm going to keep it this way. Hope it's long enough to reach. You're kidding me. There's no way I messed that up. I have to go back again. There's no way it does not reach. Oh, you know, I gotta break this. Break this and then open up this door here and then go back and grab it again. Let's open this boy here. And let's push. Yeah, so it'll be one straight line now and not curved around like that. I can get up here. Can I push these bodies out of the way? Oh, you can, wow. I do like the physics in the game too. It's one thing that we really talked about that much, but really nice. All right, so we should be able to just go through this thing straight. There was one of the substations I had to do or the electrical station to power on a certain facility for either the, the uh, survivors or the PKs. And it took me about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do. And it was all underwater. It was so annoying. I could not figure it out. But I did not look it up, though. All right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. Eighth floor. He said eighth floor, so do I go to the eighth? Oh, that's basement is zero, probably. That says five. No, he says eighth floor. I think we're going to the wrong place. I think he meant the bottom floor. What if I didn't screw that up, though? The yellow marker did have it on there. I'm just gonna look around for a second. Oh, I guess he's right here. Actually, never mind. You must like hanging out in dark zones. Is that definitely it? Definitely not the eighth what floor. What took you so long? Next time you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. Who is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. This guy is so badass. 
He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. See, I don't know why Luan was saying that he was a backstabbing bitch. The GRE detector, the GRE detector can be used to discover inhibitors hidden inside GRE crates and in other locations. To expand the area covered by the GRE detector, activate radio towers to reveal inhibitor locations and new zones. After activating a radio tower, all inhibitor containers hidden within the zones uh, covered by the tower signal will be marked on your map. So you can basically expand how long we can find those inhibitors. Which is pretty, I think we're actually really close to finding all of them. Yeah, 89 out of 126. We're really, really close on them. I ain't crying. Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? I'm not trying to think about it. Crap, <laughs> crapping my pants. We can do it. Well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> Tell me about yourselves. Nice boots. Bro sure is a badass. Bro sure is a hard ass. A bad, hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then the rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold the position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Rose shot for insubordination. Sure did. So it seems like Roe is just one, one of the guys basically okay. who's just... Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment. We'll do anything for his men. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. I'll take it. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spread in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned a renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. 
But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Hmm. Let's hear some more. That is kind of weird how there's no renegades at the biggest antenna. You would think if you take over the VNC tower, you pretty much run the entire place. So why wouldn't they want to take it over? And Matt brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. All right, let's roll. Where am I going here? You expect to sell the fin here? There's Jack. Snug, ain't it? Or Matt, not hey, Jack. You're doing Jack, great Matt, so shit, same exact thing. Yeah, Jack, Matt. All right, bro. I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. The hell? Dude, what if Matt is infected? Although he's in the UV light, so I don't know if he would be. That's hey, you exactly. guys want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. <laughs> oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say it, Pete. You're off key, dumbass. And one like this. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Jesus. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. It's so weird to see him without guns, like acting all like military-ish, but no one has any guns. Oh, he's so dead. You cannot tell me he's not dead. Something's gonna jump out here. I can feel it. Careful, Wisbowski. Looks clear. You're dead. <laughs> oh my god, he just took the fucking hit. Bro, is Ro dead? Well, Wisbowski is for sure dead. Is that Ro right? Oh my god, I'll tell me that's Ro. Oh my god. Wisbowski! Fuck. We gotta shoot all these big guys. No. Gotta keep our distance here. 
I'm gonna use this just to kill him. I search the bodies. That's not row. Unless you got a fresh trim right there. Oh shit. That's oh my god, ew. Oh, no. Yeah, he's dead. Wow. Basket. I knew that was gonna happen, dude. That's not row either. God damn it. Jack. Come on, Jack, are you there? There's there's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Endro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Dude, that is ridiculous. Bro had the transmitter. Locate it. It's our only chance. It's no time to mourn. You must find Ro. We'll get you help as soon as the elevators are back up. I'll do what I can. I kind of want to get up there on that crate there really quick. And climb this. He's alive still. All these tracks here. Oh, it's actually up here, never mind. How do I get up there? I move this. There we go. Aiden. Oh, oh shit! You survived. I thought you were dead. They fucking wish. You'll pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. His arm is gone, or his hand. The transmitter. Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't. Yeah. No way he goes out like this. The transmitter. Aiden. Don't you. Uh, I think you should wait for that potato metal I promised you. What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just. Uh, our dog tags. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. My God, man. Like, what a weird way to go out, though. As soon as we get up here, he dies. I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. You spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Fine. Oh my god. Lawan does not like us at all. Okay, what am I doing here? Dude, they all died. I do want to find there's like five men. I do want to find their bodies. That was one, two, three. I'm gonna check over here really quick, try to find the other one. I don't think there's any more inside here. It might be in the other sections though. Past that door. I mean, they could be up there as well. I want to find a way to get up there. Like, there's gotta be a way to get up there somehow. Uh, I don't think there is. I do want to try one more thing though. Check up here. I don't think they're up here though. That sucks, man. Like, why would they die that fast? You didn't give them like any backstory or anything like that. I mean, there was a backstory, but like, you gave them like no time as soon as they got up here. Bro. 
There we go. Was even worth it. There might be some more guys inside here. Ah, fuck. It's locked. I'm stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry. What's this drunk ass gonna do? Survive until Luan finds Frank. Oh shit. They're all runners too. Oh my Luan. god. Luan. Did you get Frank? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're so confused now. They're like, what the hell? Oh my god. They keep coming back to life. I can't even hit him sometimes. I'm out of water, no. Aiden, Aiden, I've got Frank here. At least what's left of him. Aiden. What? Where are you? The 30th floor, the infected, the they blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank? Wait. Where are you going? You're as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there and he needs you. He needs a coffee. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and once damn she told him hey some of our equipment should still be there in the elevator shaft one or two floors above you is it right here one or two floors above me open this hatch here if i can can i open that Oh, up here. I mean, how, how ironic though, this stuff is one or two floors above me and not 50 more floors above. How is that? Yeah, Frank, I think I found it. Is it four? It's a grappling hook, a rope launcher. So what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. Oh, we hit the grappling hook? Oh, thank God we did. Use the grappling hook to get out of the room. Grappling hook, uh, you receive the grappling hook, which allows you to swing on various objects and traverse more efficiently. The grappling hook can attach to any object on which the hook's reticle appears. The best routes are indicated in yellow. Uh, equip the grappling hook in the, in the accessories quick slot in the inventory. Aim and press LT to swing on it. So it's kind of like the first one. All right, let's take off and use this guy here. Take off the bait. Nice. And then we're gonna switch the grappling hook. <laughs> Aim and press LT and swing on the grappling hook. Okay. <laughs> oh! Thank God. Uh, swing yeah. here. Oh, that's so nice. I think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Simple, but it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden, upstairs. You have to go up one level. 
From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Right to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb. Now, can I hook it twice? Nice, you can. All right. That's good to know. I do have to learn how to swing back and forth, though. Yeah, so I've actually already been up. So I've, already, I've already been up here to the area, which I'm at right now. Oh, shit. Holy shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Alright. Yeah, I've already been up this way. Fuck, I'm going. Went to the light loser. Oh shit. Do not fuck. I'm just gonna sprint it. I don't care. I'm gonna sprint past everything and just run. Not dealing with them today. Nice. Alright, now what? I gotta get up there somehow. Did I do it right? Okay. Swing it. Nice. Yeah, somehow I parkoured all this like free fully without having to use a grappling hook. It took me a lot of tries, by the way. Oh my god. Like this here, I just did my super jumps and used the paraglider for most of it. It actually worked out just fine for me up here oh i can't get up here okay i use this elevator shaft nice those are all closed up there where's the music at huh inhibitor container i've already grabbed this one up here i surprised heard someone walking next to me I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump, and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Juan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Jesus. All right. To find the drunk Aiden. bastard. It's me. I won't leave you Get on your up. own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. What? Luan's no coming? Luan? Luan? Gonna take her a while to get up here. Oh my god. It's so sick using that grappling hook though. Oh my god. I gotta climb this here. There's no way she got me just on top of the VNC tower that fast. Reach. Up here. Nice. Go here. I actually just free jumped this guy right here. 
and that was so stupid of me. I should not have done that. I'm not sure why I even tried that. I, I did it yesterday somehow. I think I actually jumped from a. Uh, where did I jump from? I got up here. I got up here and then I uh, jumped to here and there, I think. <laughs> So, like the game wants to use the grappling hook for this but i actually just used my uh my jumping parkour skills but it is nice to actually do it the game do it the way the game wants you to do it it's so, like here i didn't do anything at all i just swung out this way Then like from here, I just hit a paraglider. That's how I got across last time. Nice. Oh my God. They're way up there instead. I stick to the top here. Any volatiles in here? I want to say it's over this way. All right, nice. Hanging in there, Aiden. Hanging, jumping, climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna kick this ladder down in case we do fall down again. Get up here. Mm. Nice. I do like how you can directionally do all of it. I didn't ask her to come. I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already. What were you after? Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. Radio, you, new hope. You're where? Imagine, on top of the building, messages of peace and... Oh, you. shit. You bring your people together. I didn't... You'd make it. Oh, but holy shit, you yeah, will. Well, I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say? It's kind of bugged right now. I don't know what he's even talking about. It, the entire dialogue was cutting in and out. I didn't hear what he said at all. I wasn't even able to hear it. Oh shit. Yeah, from there to there, I use a paraglider and somehow got across. You don't actually fall down that fast. But the game wants you to use the grappling hook, obviously. That's so sick. This is a challenging one here. I had to, like, jump and do it. And I would land on top of that thing up there and then jump again, paraglide off. And I would paraglide from up here around the corner and hit it. Oh, my like Spider-Man up here. Holy shit. And this one, I, I did a wall jump and then a paraglide and I got onto it. Obviously, it's a lot better using the grappling hook for this situation though i'm telling you man, i put so many hours in this game already i have like 70 hours in this game right now and most of it's all just from me doing the uh side quest mostly jump in here awesome get up can i actually swing myself over even possible. 
Gotta make it. <laughs> nice. Transmitter and mount the, the device. Uh, okay. To the very top we go, huh? I love the parkour in this game, man. Jumps like that always make me so nervous, too. So I think I missed it, but I actually didn't. Look how beautiful this game is, man. I'll keep saying, dude, this game should have been game of the year. I'll say right now. The transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. turn on the transmitter matt will tell me about the gre doctor i need to know where my sister is and what waltz did to us sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves sometimes the things we do they matter i'm not gonna try to convince you you got the transmitter working it's your call give control over the transmitter to jack matt give control over the transmitter to frank I'm gonna do it for Jack Matt just so I can get the information to find my sister. I like Frank, dude, but I need to. Jack is offering me the whole point of me coming here, so. I'm sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but I need Waltz's files. I see. You've uh, made your choice. Over and out. He's disappointed, man, but he's not the best. Aiden. Job is done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys. Their deaths will not be in vain. The elevators are working again. See you soon. Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the Peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Enlist today. Are they just not gonna kill the zombie standing right there? You made it. Hey. Good to see you too. How'd she make it up here? Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, wh where did that come from? You owe me one. Souls of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. And that's my problem, cuz. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge seeking business. Without them, I'm. So, 
Let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers now? Is this some kind of joke or? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, uh, uh, you said. Ah, uh, oh, shit. <clears throat> Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> well, can you at least tell me where we're going? There aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. Story quest completed. Where'd she go? Follow the one. Right, we are about an hour and 50 minutes into this video, so I'm actually going to cut it here and I will uh, catch you guys in part seven.